Welcome back to GSC again. Walking through the aftermath of the barnyard here from bale and hay. And poor Casper is still a hay filled dirty mess. But somebody asked an interesting question the other day. So I figured I'd do a little walkthrough about ground cables, battery cables, talk about those, try to show what I can because the underhood of this is a terrible representation of what your 6.5 probably looks like. But the intake grounds are still the same, battery cables are still the same. And I think the ones on the, from the cowl firewall to the chassis are still there. They're just behind the downpipe. So I'm gonna flip this thing around and show you what's going on. All right, here's Casper Hoods up. Behold the Hay Holland Hero. All right, we're gonna start with two battery cables. Make sure your crossover cable is good. It's not just a ground thing, it's a power thing. If these cables are torn up, you'll have issues. Battery cables, I always replace the grounds with ones from Tractor Supply. They're universal 36 inch. And I just reground them back to intake runner one and intake runner two. And that takes care of your battery. So there's your, your main source of your headaches. If you have a hard start issue or a slow crank, Check those grounds on the batteries to the intake before you get too crazy with changing starters. Next, we'll talk about your glow plug relay. The glow, glow plug relay, if it's not grounded properly to that little water jacket cover right there, you can have a flicker effect. Your glow plugs come on, go off, you'll have issues with them staying on, you'll have problems with them either triggering randomly if you hit a bump, so make sure that that's snug and clean right here at the surface. The other thing is, is that if you find yourself having problems with the relay, just go from this stud up to the intake stud, and that should take care of your grounding issues there. The next thing after the glow plug relay is the master ground for the main trunk harness. Down here, way down there, you can kind of see him. He's on the back of intake runner number seven. If that ground is bad, your dash lights will do all kinds of funny things and you will have interesting problems with the truck that you never thought you could have. That can actually cause issues with it starting. You can have problems with your gauges reading, glow plugs triggering. So be sure to check that as well. That is yet another ground on these that needs to be inspected as I'm standing here doing the walk around with this and remember, remembering as I go. So definitely remember to check that out before you get too uh, too worked up if your gauges are flickering, your wait to start light doesn't come on, or you have a problem with something else that's interim, coming in, coming out, being an intermittent problem. So that is another ground to check as we move through the truck. There's some important ones, especially being glow plug and battery related. Um, from body to chassis, there should be one down here, as you can see. It runs up to the the, uh, the chassis of the truck, up to the cab firewall. And you can see here, your my big new power cable comes down through those eyelets and down to the starter. Make sure that that doesn't have burn spots, wear through any kind of damage on it because what you'll end up with is a master power cable that shorts it ends up with a thermal runaway effect if it has holes and it's feeding back into the truck anywhere. Even some of those eyelets can cause issues. Um, if you've got a PT wiring solutions, zombie solutions, lift pump harness from Bruce, make sure it's grounded well. You want that lift pump to run when it's supposed to and not when it's not. So those are important key grounds. Um, another thing that you can look at, if you have issues with your taillights, flickering flashing grounds there is a ground that basically is straight down by the frame rail just below the bed here it's for your taillight harness pull it off clean it it'll take care of your sporadic taillight problems if you have any i know that i've had them in the past and it just tends to bug the heck out of me because i want all my lights to work when they're supposed to headlights turn signals this ground here is a body ground that goes back to the headlight harness so if you have a flasher issue or your bright dims don't exactly work as they should, that's where your problems are probably coming from. There's also one on this side that goes down with the core support. So that said, no, I don't have 
one of the big fancy battery cable kits for this. Um, I do have good batteries in it, obviously, that are rather new, but I have never done the, the updated glow plug harness in it. It's factory from 99. It works the way it's supposed to. The PT wiring harness slash zombie solutions battery cable kit is worth its weight in gold, really, because Bruce did a good job of cutting everything and making it pre-length. This being my farm truck slash use my daily driver in college, it, it kind of made it one of those things where I fixed it when I could fix it. So with everything being hooked up the way it was and everything being grounded the way it is, you should have really no issues starting or issues with it being kind of a, a pain. So we'll see what Casper does since it's been sitting since Saturday. Cue the, uh, the fun music while the glow plug light goes. And that's that. Really, that's how your truck should start. As you can see, my bolt gauge there does pull down when the glow plugs come on, just like they all do. But as soon as it stops the afterglow cycle, it'll pop right back to 14. Make sure that the plug on the end of the alternator is in good shape, and also make sure that the stud on the alternator is good shape. I've got a new, new alternator in this that I did last spring. So that definitely, uh, definitely help me out because mine was starting to get worn but hopefully this helps some of you guys out that are having starting problems grounding problems cable issues um and yeah hopefully that uh that does you guys some good everybody have a great week and thanks again